This conference will now be recorded. All right. So morning, what we discussed, we talked about one purchasing scenario wherein we purchased the stationary items from a vendor. Where was that scenario? This one. Okay, this was the case we discussed, right? First February yes. purchase of stationary items from Universal Bookstore for 12,000 rupees. Now let us try to record this transaction in SAP. For this, what we need first, we need vendor account, which we have already created. Universal Bookstore as a supplier has been created. This is your vendor code. Similarly, let us check if we have stationary gl account or not let's go to gl master fs double zero Okay, I'll open operating expenses. So currently we do not have stationary account. So what I'll do, let me create one stationary account. I will copy any one expense account. Click on copy. Next account number is six. Continue. So since we have not activated cost center accounting yet, I am going with non operating expense or income related category. Operating expenses, I will put the GL description as stationary. I will save this. Now this is your GL account number for stationery. Okay, this is the stationery account number. Next, what we need to do, we need to create this invoice using normal invoice posting screen and also using single entry invoice posting screen. F-43 is the screen where we will post vendor invoice. This is the normal invoice posting screen wherein you will have to switch between different screens or different sheets. On the other hand, let me open another screen. FB 60. This is enter vendor invoice. This is a single entry screen or this is a single screen transaction. Here we do not have to switch between multiple windows on the same screen. You can give debit. You can give vendor account in short debit credit both are on same screen. But on the other side here you will have to pass debit in one screen credit in the other screen. So first we will go ahead with the normal invoice posting screen in this what you need to understand is your document date. And a document type these are very important. What is this document date in case of a vendor invoice? First February. First February. So on what basis do we decide that this has to be document date? What is the base for us? It will be present in the invoice. Right? It will be present on your vendor invoice. Whatever the purchase that you have made from your supplier, your supplier or vendor will give you a physical bill. On that physical bill, whatever the date is mentioned, that date is represented as document date or your transaction date. So according to us, we purchased on 1st February. So let me record this entry on 1st February. I'll open the document date. I'll pick 1st February. 
next one is document type by default on your vendor invoice screen you are getting a krs document type let us check what is this kr representing let me open the drop down kr what is the meaning of this kr vendor invoice vendor invoice so i'll pick kr now whenever you are posting a new document type on your company code you have to make sure number range is maintained now this is a problem which happens only for your practice because you are not going to update all the number ranges during the practice right now kr if i want to know which number range is to be created for kr how do i understand that how do i know it where i should check oba7 OBA7. In OBA7, under document types, we'll have to pick KR, which is vendor invoice. Double click on this KR or click on this details. It will open up this window. In this, look at the number range. What is the number range? 19. Number range is 19. To maintain this number range, where I should click? FBN1. So I can either go to FBN1 transaction code separately and maintain, or I can get redirected from this screen by clicking on number range information. Let me click on this number range information. If I click on this number range information, I've been redirected to FBN1 screen. Now I'll put company code HA10. Click on change intervals. Add a new interval. Now, when I add a new interval, I need to make sure that the number range is updated properly. On what date we are posting this entry? Today's fourth. So we are posting this entry on this. Now we have two ledgers. One is leading ledger the other one is non-leading ledger leading ledger we are using for ifrs according to ifrs what is our reporting structure jan to december yes sir jan to december non-leading ledger we are using for Indian V3. Company Act. According to this, April to March. Is this correct? Yes, sir. Now, based on this, 1st February 2023 is part of period. Period 2. Fiscal year. What will be the fiscal year? 2023. 2023. 2023. Because this is a calendar year. Jan to December is a calendar year. According to Jan to December calendar, February is part of period 2 and fiscal year 2023. Similarly, when we see it from non-leading ledger perspective for Indian Companies Act, we are following April to March. According to April to March, your February is part of which period? Second. 11. 11. According to April to March, February is period 11. And fiscal year 22. Fiscal year is 2022 because Fiscal year 2023 will begin in April 2023. Currently, we have not reached April 2023. So we are still on February 2023, which means until March 2023, our fiscal year is represented as 2022. Correct? Huh? Yes, sir. Now, when you record a transaction on 1st February 2023 date, 
you are representing two fiscal years you are representing 2023 fiscal year you are also representing 2022 fiscal year correct yes no yes sir right so whenever you are maintaining in number ranges you have to ensure your number range is updated for both fiscal years because your transaction is going to get updated in two years sir if okay, non-leading so non-leading period is closed till the transactions get posted no, sir yes in s4 hana it will get posted okay in ecc it will stop okay 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 so i'll maintain for 2022 i will also maintain for 2023 reason being our transaction is getting updated in two fiscal years right 2022 and 2023 based on two different ledgers what is the logic for number range if it is the range 19 so logic is 19 all zeros 19 all lines is this correct your yes. document number range is supposed to be strictly 10 digits whatever the range you have same range followed by all zeros same range followed by all lines blind logic across all the entities save this now number range assignment is completed i'll come out now this is your document date which is your purchase date KR is the document type which represents vendor invoice. Company code is HA10. Posting date. This is basically is supposed to be current date. Right? So I'll I'm recording this invoice today. So I'm going to put posting date as today. Period is automatically determined based on your posting date. In which currency did I purchase? This is your transaction currency or document currency. We purchased a stationery in INR, so it will be INR. Document number system will generate. Reference, I'll say stationery purchase. So here I have one doubt, sir. This currency we are yeah. mentioning is INR. So slash rate is there. What is that, sir? What does that represent rate? This represents the exchange rate. okay so currently we have local currency group currency right yes sir yes sir you have local currency and group currency if your currency is local currency your company code currency is anr your transaction currency is also anr so there is no conversion okay because right. it is the same yes usually what will happen whenever there are two different currencies involved system will pick the exchange rate from a back end okay sir okay you will have one screen called exchange rate maintenance ob08 here you will maintain exchange rate for each currency pair if you look at this this is euro to dollar this is currently updated as 0 0.940 let's say if you are using euro to dollar if you do not maintain anything here if you leave this blank system is going to pick the exchange rate from this table but okay. for any particular transaction you want a different exchange rate other than this in such cases you can put exchange rate manually here right okay sir. okay Thank you. yeah and here reference normally what we are going to do in case of vendor invoices especially we are going to put a reference as physical invoice number of the vendor document right whenever you are purchasing something you will receive a bill from the vendor on that vendor bill there will be a number mentioned right invoice number or bill number that invoice number or bill number must be updated in reference column clear so let's say the invoice number is 
two three seven six five this is what is maintained on the vendor physical bill i am going to update the same thing this field is used for duplicate invoice check functionality for which functionality duplicate invoice check duplicate invoice check because from one vendor i am going to receive only one invoice i am not going to receive two invoices and your invoice vendor sorry your vendor invoice number is not going to be repeated let's say i have got this bill which is 23765 and i'm not updating this here i'm just putting invoice one or whatever it is next time another user might try to pass or i may try to pass the same invoice once again in such case i may end up posting the same invoice two times possibility is there that i might duplicate the invoice record the same document twice if there is no such control it is not possible for us to prevent duplication so in order to prevent duplicate invoices we will be using reference field strictly to update vendor invoice number in our case like this now the intention is when i am trying to record one more invoice if i try to put the same invoice number system should not allow me to record the same invoice and it should give me a error message stating with this reference invoice has already been posted okay so this is another point wherein you will be questioned in your interview how do you prevent vendor duplicate invoices what settings do you maintain to stop duplicate invoice posting from vendor you have to talk about this reference field what we are going to do in the system to enable or to activate vendor reference okay we will see this shortly for the second or third invoice i'll show how we will stop duplicate invoice posting I have given this invoice number now posting a key for vendor is 31 now we are on vendor invoice posting screen that is why your first posting a key defaulted to vendor account what posting a key is proposed by system Thirty one. vendor account 31 all right according to our accounting entry or according to our journal entry for vendor invoice your vendor account should be debit or credit vendor account will be credited according to our entries for the invoice your vendor account is supposed to be credited now if i open this posting key definition let me open the drop down for 31 and check this 31 is invoice posting key definition debit credit it is talking about c account type is v what does this vc represent e represent credits and v vendor represent vendor credit right this in short represents vendor credit so first posting key is coming as vendor credit now on the next screen on the next side you have account field if your posting a key is 31 which account this is talking about Vendor account or GL account? GL vendor account. account. This is vendor account because it's posting key 31. Posting key 31 represents vendor credit. So this account represents vendor account. Your account is always dependent on posting key. If posting key is related to GL, this becomes a GL account. If posting key is related to vendor, this becomes vendor account. What was our vendor account which we created? This was the vendor account, correct? 151 all zeros 105. I'll put this vendor account. I'll press enter on the keyboard. I'm getting a message period 2 2023 is not open. Okay, let me open the period. Transaction code for period opening OB52. OB52. In the real environment, who will open this period? Is it opened by the user or the consultant? End user. End users. In the real time, this is opened by the end user, not by the consultant. So our posting period variant is HA00. 
currently this is one to one so let me open two also save now let me press enter again i am on the next screen now here you will find vendor number here against vendor number you will see the vendor name universal bookstore this is the company code and if you see this is your vendor name this is your vendor address okay this is the gl account which is connected to your vendor account in short this is your sub ledger posting this is your main ledger posting without a main ledger your sub ledger cannot be posted so on real time basis every vendor transaction will be updated in the gl account clear so how this yes, gl account is coming this gl account is coming from your vendor master data now amount what was the amount that we purchased 12000 we purchased 12000 let me put 12000 here enter and here you will find payment terms i am not updating any payment terms now if you are not updating any payment terms by default your invoice is due immediate if payment terms is not updated when is your invoice due it is due immediate, immediate. people might ask you if i have created an invoice and i did not put any payment term what will be the due date of my invoice due date of my invoice will be immediate if you look at this while recording this transaction what was the document date we mentioned for this transaction what was the document date we updated a stock i open this what is the document date i updated a stock sorry first of february if i open this vendor line item there is one date appearing here as b line date which represents base line date what is the base line date first february is this first february same as your document yes. date document or this is yes. same as your posting date same as document date right now based on the payment term system will calculate due date your payment term is used to calculate due date so your payment term may be due immediate due in 15 days due in 30 days due in 45 days due in 60 days so depending on the nature of vendor you will have different different payment terms if you are not updating any payment term your baseline date will become due date okay if you update payment term based on the payment term system will calculate the due date if it is 30 days from here then it might be due on 1st march currently we are not updating so this will be due immediate whenever you purchase on the same date it will be due now this is all about a discount and all which we are not updating currently we are only updating basic plain invoice 12000 in the text i'll put invoice 1 and this is your first line item you see item number 1 invoice 31 you are hitting credit to the vendor account for your accounting entry what is the debit debit is supposed to be stationary account correct huh? we have to debit stationary account this is the stationary account so for stationary it's a gl account or vendor account customer account gl gl account stationary has to be debited or credited debit for debit debited. what is the posting key 40 40 40 i'll put 40 this is the gl number i'll hit enter amount 12000 i'll put same text invoice now let me go back 
to the previous screen here i am on the vendor line item do you find profit center field anywhere no can you see profit center field no, no sir profit center field is not available fine on the next screen do you find profit center field yes profit center field is here now according to sap new yes, gl concept yes, sir. is profit center mandatory for every transaction or not mandatory yeah, mandatory, mandatory for every transaction right according to new gl concept profit center is mandatory for every transaction it is mandatory sorry okay so according to new gl profit center is mandatory for every transaction which means if you are not updating the profit center system will not allow you to post or save any transaction it will straight away stop currently for vendor line item did we put any profit center no sir and for gl currently did i put any profit center no no and if i try to post this entry should system allow or not should not allow system should not allow so before posting how do i check whether profit center is being updated or not before posting i want to know if there are any errors in the document or not i do not want to get to know by clicking on post so for that you will have to simulate for simulation go to document on the top left side menu you will find simulate click on simulate when you click on simulate this simulation is called entry view simulation which simulation it is entry view entry view simulation on the entry view simulation you will only see whatever the data that you have manually entered so you will have one more simulation called general ledger simulation once you do the entry view simulation if you go to document again you will find one more simulation enabled what is the other simulation general ledger simulate general ledger you have to click on this if you click on this general ledger simulation here you will see profit center is this profit center currently filled up or it is blank blank profit center is blank now we want to know will system allow this transaction to be posted or not for which where should i check on the screen which option will give us the flexibility to check expert mode expert. you will have to click on this expert mode which mode you have to click expert on this expert mode. mode let me click on this expert mode If I click on this expert mode, I am getting some message. It is telling item category 40100 not allowed in accounting transaction 03000001. Okay, it is telling item category 40100. What is this item category 40100? From where it is coming? these kind of problems you frequently encounter in the real environment whenever user is trying to pass or post different different gl accounts or user is trying to pick different different document types to understand you just click on this long text it is telling 40100 so if you look at this diagnosis at the last it says item category 40100 and it says 40100 is assigned to 47 all zeros 6 what is this 47 all zeros 6 expensive 47 all zeros 6 is here which is your stationary account stationary right so before clearing this error what i'll do i'll go back i'll try to put profit center because now i do not know why the error is coming 
all i can see is another error wherein profit center is not filled up your first level check is always profit center when you do a general ledger simulation ensure profit center is filled up for all the line items even if you find any one line with blank profit center system should not allow you to record the entry clear up if with blank yes. profit center you are able to post a document in sap meaning there is a problem in your configuration your document splitting settings are not properly defined let me double click on stationary account i'll try to put a profit center aj10 what is the profit center sap aj10 AJ double zero zero one. AJ. So there's no profit center. Controlling area AJ double zero. How come profit center disappeared? Okay. Let me create a profit center quickly. KE fifty one. Profit center creation, AJ double zero, AJ ten zero one, display, all right. Now simulate, simulate general ledger. Now, is profit center coming for your vendor line item or not? Not coming. <clears throat> it is not coming. If your profit center is not coming for the vendor line item, then again it is a problem, right? There is something called. document splitting okay in document splitting we have three methods one is your active splitting second one is passive splitting third one is balance. zero balance zero percent. splitting your active splitting is exclusively used for invoices vendor customer invoices and credit memos so according to this active splitting vendor line will receive the profit center from gl line okay according to active splitting vendor line will receive the profit center from gl line item if you look at your accounting entry if i look at the accounting entry this is my vendor line item this is the gl line item correct where did we update the profit center did we update the profit center at vendor line item or at gl line item gl gl line gl line item according to active document splitting system should transfer profit center from gl line item to vendor line item that will happen on the simulate general ledger function let me click on this simulate general ledger this profit center is supposed to reflect here also which is not happening is it happening or not happening not happening sir. if this is not happening there is a problem in your document splitting configuration where is your problem document splitting document configuration split. problem now 
for that what you have to do is you have now according to the basic fundamental of your new gl concept if profit center blank in any of the line item system should not allow the entry it should straight away throw an error why the error is coming what error is coming you will come to know by clicking on expert mode here click on this expert mode this is giving a different error message here so let us fix this by going into the document splitting configuration for document splitting what is the path s underscore l zero shall i tell t code or path 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 spr mg financial accounting general, general ledger, ledger accounting business transaction documents split documents splitting so here first thing that i'll do is i'll make sure if document splitting a characteristics for general ledger accounting are correct open this this should always be mandatory field and zero balance enabled so these two must be enabled for profit center this is your first level check and these are one time settings in any project we are not going to amend this on a real environment but during your practice environment different people will change for different reasons right so this setting is now active go back we should also check if document splitting functionality is enabled or disabled open this activate document splitting is it active or deactive active this is active we are able to tell this is active because this document splitting activation checkbox is enabled which method we will use for document splitting well one two well we will use document splitting well which is sap standard in all the projects we will be using splitting method at well only people will ask you to tell the method number which method do we use for document splitting so you have to tell confidently splitting method at well i'll go back so now what we did did we make any correction or not so far we made one correction we enabled that zero balance correct now let yes, us sir. simulate once again to check if the problem is resolved to check once again you just need to go back and then do simulate general ledger once again profit center is still not coming expert mode still showing same problem okay let me expand this error message it is telling item category 40100 is assigned now where do we assign this item categories if you look at the first one you will find classify gl accounts for document splitting correct let me open this classify gl account for document splitting it is asking for chart of account input your chart of account what is this gl number 47 all zeros 6 let's go to that account number 47 series if you look at this what is the item category assigned here cash discount correct now because yes. this is cash discount category system is not able to split the entry so this is supposed to be your expense expense, expense is what 20000 20000 so even though you maintain settings if your setting is incorrect system will behave incorrect even though if system is accepting your entry it is wrong because of this mistake clear 
so maintaining yes. setting is not enough we should also understand the impact or effect of that on your transactions on your business transactions so this has to be this one while creating this setting system did not stop us anywhere right if you look at this everywhere this is a problem all four series all four series is expense but everywhere we put this one customer correct everywhere there is a problem i'm changing this alone i'll say here also there, there is a problem rectify all this raju yes sir yes okay save it save now let us simulate once again to check if the problem is resolved or not what i'll do i'll close this screen go back one level i'll try to simulate general ledger once again is system detecting the profit center or it is still not it is still not taking profit center so in such cases it means system is not able to read the revised settings from the back end when you are on this screen do we have the revised settings in the system or old settings we have old settings right so system is not able to refresh the settings while you are on the same screen the only option is to repost or to re-enter the data for which i'll just come out cancel i'll enter the data once again vendor account 12000 invoice posting key 40 expense account 12000 profit center invoice let me simulate and simulate general ledger this time what happened your vendor account which means your accounts payable is this receiving profit center right profit center is now updated let us check if there is any problem in this document or not by clicking on expert mode if i click on expert mode do you find any message or it is blank your message section is blank which means this document or this transaction is good to go there is no problem in it when you try to post it it will be accepted without any mistakes i'll close this now if you look at this while recording the entry you have updated profit center only in one line but while simulating general ledger profit center is updating in two lines correct yes no yes sir if i go back one level when i am on entry view simulation i am getting this account number 1510105 universal bookstore if i open this account this is the gl account which is represented there is no field for me to record profit center agree this is your entry universal bookstore account number 1510005 let me do general ledger simulation do you find any change on your entry anything is changed if you look at the account number is updated and your account name is different you are not able to see universal bookstore you are not able to see vendor number am i correct main gl account yes sir instead of a vendor account it is giving your vendor reconciliation account instead of a vendor name it is giving your gl reconciliation name because your profit center accounting is valid only for gl module not for sub gl module your accounts payable is gl module or sub gl module sub ledger module 
sub lecture your accounts payable is part of a sub ledger for sub ledger document splitting or profit center accounting is not valid that is why for vendor line item profit center is not an input field when you do a general ledger simulation based on your vendor account system will pick associated reconciliation gl account and it will pick the profit center from the offsetting account now this profit center for the first line is coming based on which document splitting method active active this is coming based on active document splitting method people will ask you to explain document splitting and they will ask you to explain document splitting with examples so that time you have to explain there are three types of document splittings active passive zero when you talk about active document splitting mention that active active document splitting is used for your sub ledger postings especially for your customer and vendor invoices and credit memo posting so what system will do it will receive the profit center on the vendor line item or on the customer line item based on the gl line item or the offsetting account clear yes sir. based on gl line item in short offsetting account so this is called your active document splitting so they will specifically expect this on every interview but most of the people will only tell the definition of active document splitting but they expect example for active document splitting for which you will have to tell like this when you record any vendor invoice <clears throat> you mention the accounting entry you will be debiting an expense account you will be crediting vendor account be very specific if you are taking example of a vendor invoice or customer invoice or credit memo of vendor or customer whatever you take first give the accounting entry for it for the vendor account vendor invoice you will mention vendor account credit expense account debit for vendor account we will not be able to put profit center because profit center accounting is not valid for sub ledger it is valid only for general ledger so system will not give you any option to input profit center but on the other side for the offsetting account which is your gl either expense account or a balance sheet account you will update profit center this profit center will be transferred to your vendor account on the general ledger simulation or while posting using document splitting functionality here system is picking active document splitting am i correct yes sir. so when you are trying to explain them in this way accounting entry profit center field is not ready for input for vendor account because profit center is not valid for sub ledger they will stop you in between they'll go to the next question because the way you are explaining will make them a clear understanding that you are clear with the concept they'll not wait for you to complete it they'll go to the next question they'll say i am fine i understood that you are aware of the concept okay now i'll go back and one more thing that we'll have to see here i'll do a general ledger simulation we are on which ledger simulation leading or non leading 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 this is which ledger simulation leading for leading ledger simulation do you find profit center updated for all the line items yes sir yes sir now yes. let me show the non leading ledger simulation if i go to non leading ledger let me change the ledger if i check non leading ledger for non leading ledger do you find profit center updated or not yes sir this is your non leading ledger do you find profit center segment updated yes sir right which means mm -hmm. on your s4 hana system profit center is being updated for both leading and non leading ledger am i clear in ecc it will not up right now 
let me save this now invoice has been posted this is one entry which we posted in s4 hana vendor invoice do we have any company code in ecc with basic accounts payable yes sir atim now let me record one invoice in ecc we can say this changes in ec ecc to s4 hana changes correct this is what you have to talk and this point you will not find on google for same if they ask why, what should we tell them i'll tell you now i'll show practically okay vendor just always remember whatever the points you mention in your interview are subject to cross questions whatever the point you are mentioning be prepared for a cross question on it Twelve thousand, same amount i am putting while recording you will not find any difference okay there is no change on the transaction posting same amount Okay, let me simulate this. Simulate general ledger. Now, in this, do we find profit center updated or not for your vendor line item? this is on ecc yes, system yes. it is not if profit center is not updated where is the problem we need to where check is the, the document document splitting document configuration is problem i'll go to document splitting so slowly you should start understanding based on the problems what could be the reason where we need to check which settings would be wrong financial accounting new general ledger document splitting first thing is this this is correct profit center is mandatory zero balance is enabled next point is activation of document splitting here it is deactivated that is why it is not working enable this save it and to reflect this you have to redo the entry f-43 again vendor account 12,000 expense account profit center simulate simulate general ledger let me remove the subtotals now do you find profit center updated is this updated or not updated for the second line item it is not updated it is updated if you look at this carefully you will find a line in between this you see you will find a line here this and this 
Mm -hmm. And do you find such line here or it is not there? Not Which means this is these two are not merged. This. These two are merged. What I'll do, let me try to take this into Excel sheet. List export spreadsheet. Export. Now, when I take this into Excel sheet, did I get profit center on both lines or on one line? Both lines. But when I see it on SAP, what happened? It is showing on one line because these two are merged. If you see the difference carefully, you will see these two are merged, these two columns. Yes. Right? So even looking at this, if you are not able to figure out whether profit center is updated or not, what you do is first do a total for the amount. What you need to do first? Do a total for amount and then do a subtotal for profit center. So this is your subtotal icon. Okay, so subtotal icon is enabled only when you do a total. Now, do you find this icon subtotals? Let me remove this yes. total. If I remove this total, do I find subtotal icon now or it disappeared? It's disappeared disappeared subtotal is enabled only when totals are enabled first let me do a total for this now subtotal is enabled let me do a subtotal for profit center and if i collapse this i will come to know at profit center level there is zero balance correct if profit center is updated only for one one line item there should have been a balance in profit center. Correct? Yes. Now these are merged. So that is why you are not able to see this. Now, if I go to expert mode, is there any error message here, this section, or it is blank? Blank. This is blank which means this transaction is good to go. Let me switch this to non-leading ledger. What is our non-leading ledger in this? Airtel non-leading ledger. ATI, this one? Yes, sir. ATI. If I put this, if I try to bring profit center field, is profit center updated or not for non leading ledger? Not updated. Not updated. Right. Profit center is not coming in non leading ledger in ECC system. But if you find the same simulation, let me display this document from S4 HANA General Ledger View. If I switch from leading to non leading ledger, if I try to add profit center on my layout. Now, do we find profit center on the non-leading ledger? NO is non-leading ledger. In S4 HANA, your profit center will be updated for both leading and non-leading ledger. Whereas in your ECC system, the profit center will be updated only for the leading ledger. This is one of the change you will have to mention in your interviews. So while recording vendor invoice, you have to 
keep two points in your mind active document splitting and profit center updation for leading and non leading lecture clear yes sir okay yes, now sir. what i'll do i'll go back to s4 hana system so this is the transaction which we have posted let me log out from ecc now let us display this document from your vendor report to check how your vendor report reflects vendor reports so you have three type of reports for vendor one is fbl 1n other one is fk 10n and the other one is fbl 1h how many reports do we have for vendor three reports all these three reports are used on a daily basis in any organization by the end user clear up first let me open fbl 1 and report currently what we did from vendor we purchased or what what we did we have purchased purchased currently we did a purchase from the vendor now this is your vendor line item report what i'll do i'll put this vendor number this is our vendor number when we purchase from vendor according to us this vendor purchase is an asset or liability liability according liability. to us we purchased from vendor and this vendor purchase is a liability we are liable to pay to the vendor so unless and until you make the payment your vendor account should show a liability liability will show a debit balance or a credit balance credit liability will show credit balance now when you pull this vendor line item report you are supposed to see a credit balance in the vendor account of 12000 now do you find 12000 credit balance let me remove all this subtotals okay so the status shows red color symbol which means this is open anything comes with a red color icon or open symbol which means the transaction is not yet cleared or the transaction is not yet settled your invoice is settled only when you make the payment correct sir yes sir your invoice will get settled when you make the payment until you make the payment this will become open the moment you make the payment this will become cleared showing a green light now this is your line item line item report what it will do let me put vendor line item report this will if you have 10 transactions it will show 10 transactions one by one all the transaction list will appear on the vendor line item display the other screen is your vendor balance display fk 10n on this fk 10n you need to pass the vendor number company code fiscal year execute if i execute it is giving me in february month we have posted 12000 so january there is no transaction there is no balance carry forward from 2022 in the february month there is no debit posted in the vendor account normally what transactions will result debit balance in vendor credit memo and payment right your credit advance. memo payments advances and invoice cancellations if your invoice is posted invoice. credit 
your invoice reversal or invoice cancellation will post a debit here agree so these kind of a points yes. also you might get questioned what kind of a transactions will result a debit balance in vendor account and these kind of a questions may not be referring straight away to sap config correct if i am asking you a question in your interview what transactions will result a debit balance in vendor account then if if i am not getting the correct answer i feel that you are not good at the basic understanding of the vendor accounts accounting finance business impact agree so you should not give that impression you should not give an impression that you are only good at sap configurations you should give an impression stating you are very good at business transactions and mapping the business requirements into sap clear here also it shows 12000 outstanding here also it shows 12000 outstanding so this is your vendor balance report there is one more report fbl 1h let's open this report also fbl 1h this is your vendor line item browser here also let me put the same vendor number vendor number is what this is the vendor number execute and this report transaction codes the functionality of this report analyzing understanding of this is very important tomorrow you will have to train your users you have to train your business on these parts now here it is showing company code fiscal year this is period this is period to balance this is the vendor number this is the balance how many rows are there database rows one if you want to see why this 12000 is coming you just need to click on this or select this line here you will find an option called line item report which will be a drill down report if you click on this it will take you to the details of this 12000 okay normally this report is used to check all the vendor outstandings here if i leave the vendor account number blank and if i execute only at company code level this will give me the detailed outstanding of each vendor currently we have only one vendor it is giving only one record if you have let's say 500 vendors if you have 500 vendors now in one screen in single shot if i wanted to see 500 vendor transactions of outstanding alone it is very difficult for me to come through this it is difficult for me to come through this because this is vendor specific this is vendor specific even if i give a range it will give the outstanding of all the vendors together but i want a report wherein i will be able to check each vendor outstanding current outstanding for which we will be using this report vendor line item browser which is your fbl 1h any doubt so far on the basic vendor yes. invoice creation including your profit center updation in both leading and non leading ledger and your document splitting active splitting function right so when you are doing different different points try to add different functionalities which are connected to this so that whenever somebody is asking you about active document splitting immediately vendor invoice should strike in your mind 
along with accounting entry profit center on gl is updated on the vendor line is automatically extracted from gl based on active document splitting mechanism okay all right then so we'll stop this here today